Welcome folks, Farmer Cop here with episode 6 of my gameplay series in No Man's Land, a wonderfully modded map by Alien Jim. So if this is what you are looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome back. So before we get into No Man's Land Episode 6, it's been a little bit since I've recorded. This is going to come out on, I believe, the 8th of April. So when you see this, um, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to talk about here, um, I could have, should have technically mentioned in the episode that's coming out the same day I'm recording this on April 6th, Episode 5. But I had Episode 5 pre-recorded to make sure I had it done in time. So a lot of this stuff is a little bit overdue, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it out here now. So a couple updates about the channel, just some stuff in general. So first off, if you are perusing my channel, you'll notice the first three videos I made are of significantly lower quality than my other videos. So uh, they still have good content in them. Um, there's a lot of good information in there. I just sound really bland and boring, and I don't think I really edited the videos well because I didn't really know how to do that yet. And I also went by the name of Triple H Farming in those videos. So if you notice that, just ignore that. Um, I switched after I made those first three videos that day. I was like, ah, I don't really like Triple H farming. And I figured Farmer Cop was more suitable to who I am since if you're new to the channel, I am a police officer. That is my full-time job. I do this for fun. I really enjoy making YouTube videos and I'm pretty new to YouTube. So um, I hope that if you have not already that you will hit that subscribe button and you will like this video. And by the way, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet and you enjoy watching my videos, it really helps out. It's not like it costs you money or anything, but it really helps out my channel and really encouraged me to keep making more and more content. And so with that too, if you enjoy a video you watch, hit that like button. It also helps out quite a bit if you hit the like button to show me that, hey, this is what you enjoy. And if there's things you want to see changed or things you want to see different, please comment below. Um, and if there's something you want me to do specifically, well, right now, as you see, I only have a few subscribers, so I'm probably going to do whatever it is you say or try to do it at some point. Um, so yeah. And if there's something you want to ask that's more detailed, even if it's about police work or whatever, I'm happy to answer those questions for you. You can feel free to either comment a video, but if it's something you don't want to comment, you can feel free to email me if you have more detailed questions or, uh, like I said, you don't want to comment. So the email address is farmercop911 at gmail.com, and that's up on the screen right now. So that is the guy you can uh, email if you have any questions. And so uh, further, I want to say thank you. When I'm recording this, this is I have 43 subscribers right now which is fantastic. I've only been on YouTube for, I think, almost two weeks now. So uh, I know my channel's not super big, but to me, it's amazing that I already have 43 subscribers, 43 people that are saying, hey, I like what you're doing. I enjoy your content, and it really encourages me to keep going. So I really appreciate that. Thank you to those first 43 people that subscribed. And yeah, some of them are my friends and my family. I'm not going to lie, but there are a lot of people from all over the place. Um, and on a note for things for my subscribers. So one thing I want to say is Chase Manson made a comment that he wants to see me uh, do something about making like a set of mods and making a gameplay very, very difficult. Uh, so I think I'll definitely do that in the future. Right now I have two gameplay series. If you're watching this, the Sandy Bay 19's already hit. So that gameplay series is out. Um, so I probably won't do um, another one yet until I get one of these wrapped up or I end up having a lot more time. Um, so uh, another thing as well, um, one of my... One of the funny comments I saw from one of my subscribers, so Fordman142 in one of my videos said, uh, Farmer Cop, here's your ticket. And he was referring to my very poor driving skills. So if you've watched any of my videos, you know uh, I struggle sometimes to drive uh, anything anywhere. So, and I swear, I can drive a patrol car better at work than I drive these tractors in this game. So uh, don't lose trust in uh, police officers, or at least not me as a police officer. So... Um, and then the last thing, too, that's going to be very pertinent to this episode and coming up is in one of my previous episodes, um, Thani1, one of my subscribers all the way from Norway, said we should do animals. Uh, so I think in Sandy Bay 19, I'm going to not do animals in that one. It's in seasons. So I kind of want to do my first seasons uh, gameplay series. Uh, trying to, I might do animals. Who knows? We'll, we might change it up. But at least for the time being, I'm not going to do animals in that. So I think, yeah, just to keep it different, we're going to start doing animals now in this gameplay series. I don't know if it's going to happen this episode or next. Again, it kind of come, depends on uh, what we're able to get done. Um, but talking with Thani1, she said we should do pigs and we should do uh, cows. So what we're going to end up doing is probably start out with pigs, and then we're going to move to cows later. So um, 
Pigs are great. They uh, produce us uh, some slurry and manure as a natural fertilizer for our fields. So that'll save us money on fertilizer, which will be fantastic. Uh, we may end up uh, selling one or the other, just so we don't have to have all the equipment around to do both. We'll see. We'll kind of we'll kind of price it out and we'll look inside the uh, store and kind of think about how we're gonna do that. And then cows are great because you make you make money off of the milk and such like that. And pigs uh, can eat just about anything, so they're not too hard to take care of. And um, the other thing about pigs is they reproduce relatively quickly, so we can sell the uh, new pigs we get for a little bit of extra cash. Um, so, yeah, and again, let me know what you guys want to see, and please subscribe. It really helps me out. And again, I'm a full-time police officer, so I do this in my free time. So please subscribe, share my videos, let your friends know about my channel so they can go ahead and subscribe. Even if they're not in the farming simulator, uh, just let them know. If they if they help me out by subscribing, that helps a lot just so I can start building up this channel. So right now, my goal is to get to 100 subscribers. I don't know how long that'll take. It might take a year. It might take two years. I hope not that long. If we keep going at the rate we're going at, it definitely won't take that long. But um, that is my goal right now is to get up to that. So, um, yeah. So another thing with going back to No Man's Land in episode six here. So I added a couple of mods, um, and I think these will be helpful for us. Um, so the first three I added are kind of vehicle shelters. We're talking about different vehicle shelters we might uh, get. So I added the composite machine sheds, the easy shed pack with lights. So it's like the easy sheds, just they have lights in them, which I think is kind of cool. And a homemade vehicle shelter mod. So, and again, I'll put those all down in the description. So if you want to check those out for your gameplay or your game series or whatever you're doing, or just in your personal game, um, you'll know what mods those are. And we'll look at those in the store here in a second. I also downloaded the broom mod, which will be helpful if we have pigs. So instead of having to, um, which just I think is very reasonable and I think in real life this would be honestly how it works too and speaking from someone who uh, yes my grandparents actually had a ranch and I worked on it uh, they didn't have pigs but they had horses but still um, the same kind of concept of this applies so the broom mod allows you to kind of clean up the animal pen areas uh, with a broom you can buy in the store instead of having to use a tractor every time and drag a tractor out there so I think that's pretty reasonable um, and another thing as well that I downloaded was the HS8 sprayer support and the reason for that, essentially, it's like a liquid uh, trailer tank that we can haul around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up with, like, herbicide. I'll probably get a couple of them. Probably fill one with herbicide, one with liquid fertilizer. Well, actually, maybe not. We don't need the liquid fertilizer if we're doing pigs. But I'll uh, probably one with herbicide. So we can have that just parked out here on the farm. And while that's parked out here, we can use that kind of as a refill point. So I was kind of struggling to find a good uh, mod or something that I could use to store stuff here down at the farm. So uh, we'll see. And we might end up doing like maybe some IT runner stuff if we can get like some seed storage and stuff going on down here. I haven't really done, I, I honestly have never used the IT runners at all, which you might be shocked by. So I will probably test those out in my in a different map somewhere else um, and see if that's what I want to do. And the other one, before you freak out, I downloaded or I already had it downloaded, but I put it in this game. I put the government subsidy mod, which if you don't know is like a money cheat mod. No, I'm not going to cheat money in to make our farm better or anything like that. We're going to earn it all the old fashioned way. We're going to work hard. We're going to make our money on this farm. But I downloaded it because I want to know what you guys think. I don't want to do it in this episode, but maybe in the next couple episodes, um, if I like added a couple hundred thousand dollars to the game and used exactly that amount of money to build us like a little town using some of the in-game mods by uh, Alien Jim and some other stuff, just so we had a little town somewhere. So if you think that's reasonable, um, I'd be happy to use a little bit of the money in there and take the time to uh, create us a little village to add a little bit more to our map. I don't think that's an issue. Um, so, but I do want to know your opinion. If you think, no, nah, I don't do that. Take out government subsidy mod. Um, I'll be happy to do that. So I don't have any issue with that. And again, all these, all these mods are going to be down in the description. So if you want to use them, they're all down there. Um, so yeah, let's go into the store and we'll take a look at some of those sheds. That's going to be in placeables here. Oh, not animal pins. What am I doing? We'll need to look at that too, though, a little bit later. Um, so let's go down to sheds um so we have the easy sheds which are standard in game um so the composite machine sheds are these guys they're actually really nice so i like them because they're they're this is the small one here but they have garage doors that open they're just really they're really nifty really nice and it because they're not too expensive um so it wouldn't be bad to do that and then here's this is stuff that just came in game and actually this is a pretty sweet uh, well, let me look at it because it's too expensive it's only 35 that's actually pretty cheap which i almost feel like that's that's just a big warehouse with an open garage door on the front. So this is the uh, homemade vehicle shelter. It's, yeah, it's just as as small and little as it is. And then here's all the easy ship with lights that I downloaded as well. So again, it's just those uh, standard in-game ones that are up here, but with lights in them. So I think 9, 22, 32, what are they? 9, 22, 30, yeah, they're same price. So yeah, just the same price as they have lights in them. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad. Um, let's see if we can't go look at that HS8 sprayer support so I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. 
where it's going to be, to be honest with you. Um, it might be, shoot. Well, we might as well just start checking. We'll go to trailers, go to the end here to go to mods. Uh, not in there. Um, that can be an auger wag. It might be in crop protection since, yeah, there it is right there. Is it? Well, I guess that's all it holds. So yeah, there it is right there. It holds, what well, says, it says diesel. But it says down here, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully it doesn't hold just uh, this diesel. Uh, since that's not why I downloaded it. But uh, yeah, 8,000 liters is not great. I didn't know how much it was going to be um, downloading it. So we may not end up using it, but I just figured it was kind of an option that was available for us. So um, yeah, I'll probably keep adding mods as we go that I think are relevant and I think would be useful for our gameplay. So yeah, I've already spent a lot of time talking. Uh, so what we have going on in the farm, I haven't played on this in forever. So let's just take a look at our map here. So we should have... Everything should be growing. Lime's still required. Um, we're not going to worry about that right now, though. Uh, so everything's either growing or ready to harvest. So tomorrow we're probably going to harvest uh, everything we have going on here. Um, and if we go to here, see, I think everything's, yep, everything's fertilized. Um, there shouldn't be any weeds on any of the fields. So that's perfect. So we are going to work on harvesting. And if you remember, we planted oats. So we're going to get a straw swath off of this. And that's the other thing I want to talk about. So I don't have, I'm recording this on April 6th, the day before the new straw DLC comes out. So the straw DLC is really nifty. Um, we're not going to have the money right off to do it. I think we'll get into animals first, but I think later on either in this game, and I might do it in Sandy Bay 19, but I'm thinking I'll do it in this this gameplay series is I'm going to use some of that. I want I want to start making straw pellets, making pellets of those guys and selling them. Uh, if you haven't seen the new straw DLC mod or checked it out, um, it obviously is out by the time this comes out because this is going to come out April 8th, the day after it comes out. So I'll add that in my next uh, episode of this, but uh if you haven't seen it, go check out DJ Goham does some great videos. He does a three-part series. It's a little long, but um, it's honestly necessary to show you all the details. But he kind of goes over everything that's included in all of the uh, new Straw DLC. And it's free on the on the Mod Hub. So, And if you're playing on console, it should be available for you as well, I believe. I believe it's all coming out at the same time. So, um, But yeah, I'm not very good at saying, oh, well, this is on Xbox or PS4 since I play PC. I don't really keep up to date too well with that stuff um so it just is what it is but uh yeah so we will go ahead and we will get going on the farm so we're probably gonna fall asleep here get some rest and then when we wake up we'll start dealing with harvest so uh yeah i'll go get us some rest and then i'll be back with you all right good morning folks it is a beautiful morning for us i don't remember where i parked our harvester i think i parked it up over here so we'll go try to find that i parked that stupid thing set it over there saw it through there imagining it yeah i did see it wow that's uh shocking that i saw that <laughs> uh anyhow uh yes farmer cop can see just not great you guys are probably like wow this guy really should be a cop the more you guys listen to me but uh anyhow here we are here's our harvester we'll hop in it um and i'm gonna turn on the help menu since we want uh straw swaths so let me do that so i can make sure able straw swath so comma Perfect. So that should be on and good to go. Okay, now I can go turn that off. We're going to hire someone to work on this, and then we'll work on probably collecting the straw swath behind it. And again, we can do that with our milling machine, the uh, miracle piece of equipment that we use. Um, and we are probably going to try to do pigs if we can today. Well, I don't know, actually. So we probably want to hold on to some of our straw since we're going to need it. We're probably going to hold on to our crops and hope we make some cash off our silage. And we are going to do some more... Uh, well, make sure, before I say we're going to do some more silage, actually, let me go... Uh, we'll go check out and see but oh that's right the top of it it thinks we don't gosh I hate that it drives me crazy I always forget about that so we will do we'll do the first row on here yeah perfect perfect cross Roth is coming out getting some oats off of here so we'll hold on to the oats maybe we'll sell some we'll see what the price is uh, honestly um, but uh yeah, so what we're going to do is we'll probably go try to see if we if our silage is done. I hope it's done. I hope it just goes overnight. I know it goes pretty quick, so I'm, I'm, I actually am honestly almost confident it's done. Uh, well, as I say that, it's probably going to be like 50%. We're not going to be able to do anything with it today, but uh, we can always hope. So we'll go try to sell the silage or get rid of the silage because we should get a lot of cash from that. We'll empty out that guy, and we can spend some of today filling that back up because that'll get us some more cash to... Um, to get us ready to do pigs. So if we actually, well, let me get this guy working here. Actually before, we can let all the dump back here. So it's not all spread out, all hunky dory. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and just back up. I'm gonna get him back over to the 
starting position, if you will, and he's going to work on that second row now that he's going to think we own that field. So that should be fine for us. Oh, man. So actually kind of something scary happened a little bit at work. It wasn't with me, but it was with one of my coworkers. So uh, one of my coworkers was in a foot pursuit trying to chase a felony suspect. I believe he assaulted someone, but he was a felony suspect. Anyways, he was uh, getting pursued by one of our officers, and um, the guy turned around while the officer was chasing him, um, pulled out a gun, and then tried to shoot the officer. Um, the officer, before he could even react, um, the guy started running again, so the officer just kept chasing him, even though he'd already drawn his weapon, uh, since the guy was no longer trying to shoot at him. But um, the officer didn't perceive it at the time, just because it all happened so fast, but he reviewed his body cam video, since we all watch, or we all watch, we, I mean, we do, I guess, but uh, since we all wear body cameras, he went back and reviewed his body camera video, and this is what was really scary. Um, so watching it, when the guy flashed the gun at him he just had when the officer was chasing him he had just perceived that the gun had been flashed at him not shot at him or anything like that because it all happened so fast and it was at dusk so it was kind of hard to see anyways it was starting to get dark out so the guy actually had pulled the trigger all the way down while aiming the gun at the police officer for my department and so that was that was pretty scary and as they as they chased him, you could hear in his video the the suspect rack the gun. So if you know anything about guns, the slide on the top, they rack it. So he was trying to aim a handgun at him. Um, so when he racked the slide, he chambered around. He didn't end up shooting at the officer after that. And he mentioned later that he was that that was his goal. He had tried to shoot at that police officer that was chasing him, one of my coworkers. So that was kind of scary. It kind of just reminds you that you know sometimes we get really lucky, and the guy had just forgotten to chamber around. That's why he was unsuccessful at shooting one of my coworkers is so my coworker just got super lucky um so it just is one of those things that um reminds me how dangerous my job can be at times and reminds me just to stay safe so if any of you watching this are first responders or police officers at all uh, please stay safe out there and be careful um and if you're not just uh, uh be praying for us that are out there in harm's way uh taking care of business so um but yeah just very very fortunate that that happened and he was okay um so yeah, that's that's uh, something was kind of scary that happened, but uh, they were able to apprehend the suspect um, without um, anyone getting hurt at all, including the suspect. So um, at the end of the day, that's a pretty ideal situation. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump over to what do we need to do now? Let's go. Gosh, we got to go check out our silage. I'll have to turn the help window back on. I probably should just left it on, but uh, and also too. So I have a grass and hay video coming out. I don't know when. I can't remember when. But at some point, maybe after this, uh, I think it's I think it's before this episode comes out. This will come out on the 8th. I think the grass and hay video came out yesterday then when you read it. Yeah, yesterday. Uh, so we actually, when we, when, we, um, when we mowed the grass the first time, we got more out of it than the second time. And that's because I'd forgotten, but I, I, I knew it. Um, so in grass, when you go into like uh, in here into the harvest... Oh, it's really orange. I was like, what? But if uh, so, grass, you get more out of the yield when it's in this really dark orange, and you get less out of it when it's here. All the other crops, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the same yield out of all these. We have crop withering turned off, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I don't want to have to fight that because uh, that would really suck. I usually play with that off, um, except in seasons. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, we'll wait until. Actually, might as well turn grass on because I really want to know where we're at. So we'll go to that. So it's not in the fur, well, actually, that, that is the, for grass, that is the most harvestable state is going to be right there, I think. Yeah, so there's two states, and it doesn't go any farther. So uh, this stuff you can see here is still growing. Um, it's in its second stage out of, well, the next stage will be harvest part one and then harvest part two, if you will. So it's not ready to be harvested yet. So we'll go out and we'll mow probably some of this while we're waiting for him to get going. Um, but, yeah, let's check on our silage. I'm really curious to see, uh, and obviously there's some out here, but... Um, let's turn on the help menu. Whoops. There we go. Perfect. 100%. All right. Let's open this baby up. Look at that. Look at that. Can we open? No kind of glitches. Yeah. I don't know why it's not. Add up. I don't know. It kind of glitches sometimes, but I'm not going to worry about it. We'll go ahead and turn the help menu back off. And we will actually, let's see what the price is for silage right now. Remotely decent. 300 is not, uh, that's not great. We want to probably get around 400 liters, or not 400 liters. We probably want to get around uh, $400 uh, dollars per thousand liters from it. And we should have like 46,000 liters in there. So we're probably going to get like 15 to $20,000 off of that. 
uh, which honestly would be perfect for us. So, um, yep, that's what we're going to kind of hope for there. Um, what we're going to do now, let me think. Rather. Go find that stuff right now. We need to be ready to... Uh, well, we might we might just grab this since uh, that guy's all hooked up for that because we're going to be doing that while we're... Well, I guess we have to mow first any, anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Anyhow, we're going to go get our trailer set up or other one if we can find out where... Oh, that's right. We loaded it up. Darn it. That's right. I forgot we did that in the last episode. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. We really need another trailer, to be honest with you guys. Because um, we can't put uh, silage in the uh, silo here. And also, too, Alien Jim uh, made a comment on one of my videos um, that are, if we, I think I have to remember, I have to go check what I need to do. Actually, let me go check that real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what we have to do is it's not reading. Uh, Alien Jim commented and said it's not reading because the silo extension, I guess, when it loads up, somehow it has some sort of issue um, that he's working on fixing. So all we have to do is... Uh, get rid of it and then we should be able to put it back down and it should be fine but you know we really don't probably need um that much so what's the storage of this so 200,000 liters that gives us an extra 100,000 we really probably don't need that so i think we're just going to sell that um and then we don't have to worry about that problem anyways so yeah i think that's what we're going to do um go through here make sure there's no equipment i just forgot about um let's go look at trailers real quick because honestly we are we probably should do we probably should get another trailer uh, it'll probably help us out a little bit um yeah, that's 12, but you have to upgrade it. That's 85. That's actually pretty cheap. Um, if we did that to store some stuff, 19 for... Yeah, that's probably the, that's probably the best option, quite honestly. Chillin. Yeah, we're fine with... Uh, probably fine with lizards. Or that's trailer borgs. We'll probably keep trailer borgs. Michelin's lizards, yeah. Trailer borgs. If those are free, why trailer borgs? Yeah, well, let's do standard. We don't need to spend a lot of money. Um, yeah, whatever. That's fine. Uh, the main color... Yeah, we can keep it green. I don't I don't really care that much. It doesn't really matter. Rim color. <laughs> Love how there's way more options for the rim color and not the rest of the trailer. Black? Sure. Looks kind of neat. Um so yeah, we'll uh we'll buy that. I think that'll be worth it. What, eighty eight hundred dollars? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, my rims cost me an extra three hundred bucks. Uh actually before I uh before I was uh a police officer, I worked at a tire shop for five years. That's what I did before I did that starting when I was 16 in high school. Um, and I enjoyed it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go pick up that, uh, I'm gonna go pick up that trailer, and then I think our harvester, we'll go check on him real quick. Dab over to him, yeah, he's doing okay. Okay, so he's working on that. That stuff's getting ready to pick up, actually. So we'll probably use him over there to pick up the straw with that guy. And then we'll go pick up our other trailer. Um, and, and yeah, we could unload the other one. I just don't wanna do all that work to unload it um, right now, so. Um, yeah, we'll go pick up the other trailer and then we should be able to use that for our oats for uh, kind of transporting those guys around um, And yeah, we'll have three trailers. So that will be kind of nifty um, and honestly, there's there's not really Not really any way you can have too many trailers in this game I think there's there's always a good reason to have more trailers. So I'll go pick that up and then I'll be back with you guys All right, so I went and picked up our other trailer and I put it over by our harvester So we're gonna go start picking up the straw and you know what I thought about which I don't know why I didn't think earlier um, I'm not even worried about the trailer situation and where we're going to store the straw. We can just dump the straw out on the ground in a big pile somewhere, like here or, you know, honestly, wherever. And then we can just use the milling machine to pick up whatever we need when we need it. So um, I'm not really worried about that at all now, actually. And honestly, we'll probably end up selling a fair amount of the, uh, fair amount of the straw anyway. So we'll go ahead and pour this down, turn it on, and we will start collecting this. Well, that's not good. Oh, there it goes. I was like, that's not good. Oh, I think it thinks we're... Oh, it's the same issue we're having with uh, it thinking we're not on our land there. So I have to kind of get right on the edge. Thankfully, it picks up outside of its range, so we're probably going to have to go back over that. But that's not a big deal. Not good either. I think we went outside of our... Yeah, we did. That's a little frustrating. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, we will get what we can. We're probably going to get the, all the way up to the top of the field. Um, but we'll get what we can off of here. And most of it. Yeah, the straw's filling up real quick. So, also some. 
there. Or I'm actually just going to back up, which I, I love that this just picks up backwards. And by love, I mean this is completely unrealistic, but uh, oh well, I didn't make the mod, and I love this mod, so I am not giving it up. Unless you guys really want me to, then I'd probably give it up for you guys, but that's, holy cow, I don't think otherwise I'd give it up. I just use this thing so often. It's so useful. I mean, look at this thing. Other than its little glitch that you see in the right-hand corner, which uh, you guys have seen before, just because it has like its own little whatever capacity, but it's kind of weird. But uh, anyhow, it is a very fantastic, very magical machine. We'll try to get that top stuff up there. The combine should actually be full here any seconds. I think I just I checked it a little bit ago, and it was like at like 80-something-odd percent. So it would be getting pretty close. That sweet spot. Well, that's enough of the top. We'll turn this off, lift it up, we'll drive over, get another, get another swath or another row knocked out. Actually kind of nice. This knocks out a fairly wide stretch. Definitely wider than it. I don't know if it's like a vacuum up there where it just sucks it in from all sides, but that would explain why we're getting it backwards. It's crazy. Oh, come on. I hate when it does that too. Yep, the combine's full. Combine is you're going to drive down to... Oh, come on. Pick that stuff up. There you go. That is my the most frustrating part about this uh, mod right there. I guess if you ease into it and slowly speed up, then you can go full speed over it. But I wish you didn't have to do that. <laughs> That's probably the only downfall of that. Other, well, other than the glitch. I guess I keep finding things wrong with this thing. But oh well. It's a magical device, and you can go very fast and pick up lots of things. So uh, perfect. I'm going to go hop out, and we will... Yeah, he's stuck in there a little bit. So we'll actually just... Uh, Unhire a worker here. I don't want to destroy the crops, and we'll back out. Just to here is fine, and then we'll run over and we'll grab the tractor with the trailer for the crop, and we'll load her up with oat, and then get the uh, get the worker harvesting again. Sorry, most will be done with that field. We should be able to get everything done. That one will definitely be done by the end of the day, uh, at least ready for harvest. Well, actually, I probably shouldn't say that. I probably jinxed it now, but. Uh, uh, every time it seems like I'm like, oh yeah, that one's gonna be ready for harvest. It's it's definitely not ready by the end of the day, um, but we'll hope for the best. Now that I said it and kind of ruined it, it's like when I'm at work and I say, oh, it's been slow today. That's when it just all heck breaks loose and it just gets crazy out there. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, you may notice too. I don't really swear and I don't I don't swear in my normal life. Either. I'm not just trying to be uh, PG for YouTube or anything. I just don't normally swear. So um, it's just not not something I do. That will get him all filled up here. How much of that combine hold? I can't remember. 5,600 liters? Pretty sure it's 5,600. I mean, we'll know in a second, but... I have to go empty this guy in the silo. Yeah, we'll probably have to drive him over and empty him. Yep, 5,600 liters. So we'll pull him over here. Hop out. Oh, not hop. Out and back in again. I got all disoriented that time. You guys probably did too. You guys probably had... Uh, probably got sick watching the screen for that the pipe in we don't need that baby out right now back up over to here get kind of lined up without destroying more crops um all right get this guy good to go right about there is probably pretty higher get it all fantastic and yeah that should get everything all right we'll hop out you go empty this guy into the silo this guy can tip backward today but uh I mean, we'll find out in a second. Go down our little narrow field divider here. I love this new road. And also, too, we need to think today, you know, I was thinking we could probably just take out a bank loan and get the, uh, I think that's reason, I always forget that. Sometimes when I'm trying to not to get bank loans out, I always forget it's like an option for us. But uh, but not that I want us to have like a super big bank loan that we have to try to pay off. Gosh, I can't back up a trailer either. At least not one of these ones that has the swivel for an axle. That's why this trailer was so cheap. No one wants them. Jeez, I can't back it up. Well, this is the rest of the episode right here is me uh, backing up a trailer. I'm just kidding, but maybe not. Holy cow. Okay, well, you know what? We're just going to pull up beside it, and hopefully we can tip sideways because this is ridiculous. <laughs> so we're going to loop around. But anyhow, we need to decide where we're going to put the pigs. I, was, I don't really want to put them there, maybe. But uh, I was thinking maybe on the other side of the trees, like just past the house and everything over there. 
Um, yeah, it's a little less area we can mow, but I think that'll be worth it. That way we don't have to buy another chunk of land, because I'd like to avoid taking out a loan. That's super big, because if we take out the loan to buy the land, that's 85000 And the pig pen is 90000 so that's a pretty expensive deal there, too. Um, can I not do... Oh, 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 there's a sweet spot. Perfect right there. I don't care if it looks like it's going on the ground. We're going to get it in there. <laughs> we'll use a shovel and pick up the extra. I'm just tired of driving this thing, trying to back it up. Um... Sorry, I get really distracted really easily, as you guys probably know, but uh, anyhow, yeah. So we'll get the pig enclosure. Probably try to get that up today, but again, that's a ninety thousand uh, dollar loan ish. And if, but if we're gonna if we're gonna buy it, we need to get pigs as well. So we need to just go out and commit. Um, that way, we can start getting stuff rolling. We actually probably should do it in the morning of our day here, so that way the pigs start uh, reproducing and stuff. So I'm thinking that's a decent area to mow. So I'm well, I don't know. That's a pretty good area there to mow. We'll see. We'll go into the store and we'll see what we can, uh, what where we can put what and like that. So let's go into the store. Over to placeables, animal pens. There's not like any in-game ones now. It's just the standard ones. So pig enclosure. And how much is our cow enclosure going to cost? Sheep, large sheep. Where's the cows at? Cow pasture. Oh, just a little bit more. So not too bad. But yeah, we'll get pigs going here. Oh yeah, well yeah, obviously duh, Holden, you have to take out the loan before you can buy that. Obviously, do that. Borrow, we'll get up to, go up to there now, $60,000 so far. Yeah, we'll just take it out in an even hundred. And honestly, I don't know what the, uh, never paid, no, we have never paid loan entrance. I don't know what it's gonna be. Probably for per 100,000, it's probably gonna be like two or 300 bucks, which isn't too bad, honestly, per day. Uh, in real life, that would be awful. That'd be terrible interest. But uh, for farming, some of it's that's a okay. Um, okay. Oh, not the horse packed. That's not a bad price for that guy. But I don't want to try to do too many animals. That well, actually, I don't mind doing a lot of animals. But the problem with uh, horses, you have to ride over there. Okay, this is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Ooh, but it did like it did like that spot. There's all that stuff. You probably want this side on the back. Ooh, it just snaps around. So, yeah, I'll probably want that side on the back. Um, and I kind of like it in there. It colliding. Oh, there is a... There. But, um, yeah, we got to be careful with that. Let's see. This is so big, this thing. You know what? If we uh, got it to come down here somewhere-ish. See, I don't like that orientation, but I don't want to go over the road. So it's the trees that are killing us. Well, let me get the. I think our tractor actually might be a little bit in the way. So let's get this guy out of the way. Oof. Yeah. Let's see. See, I'm gonna get us park him off our property over here. That'll work for now. Perfect. Okay, back into the store. Back in animal pens, and if I can find it again. Got a big include. Oh, yeah. Now it's gonna fit there. Well, maybe. I'm gonna want to orient this. Think like that. Suck back in. I think that's okay, right? Oh, we're committed. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Let's go into landscape. We'll fix it up a little bit. Um, we're just hit the wrong buttons. That same. Here. That's it right there. I think. Like a lighter texture. Let's not change the shape. We really. Uh, this can all be. Get up now. Be set up on a hill. Oh no! How much do we end up spending on this thing? It doesn't look like we did too much landscape. I hate that. Look at that. That looks atrocious. I can't believe we. I should have saved before we did that. Oh gosh, I forgot that. That's how that was gonna do it. Oh man. Well, we have to deal with it now. Sorry, folks. Hopefully, I didn't ruin the farm for you. I mean, honestly, worst case scenario, we could probably sell it and then fix something up later, or fix it up later, or do something else with it. So. Oh, I can paint over the rocks. That's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so we'll need to... We'll do a little bit. Let me turn on the, the help mode because I am going to need it to 
do some serious landscaping here. Yeah, I love it. The combine just swimming through that. Just technically speaking, destroying all the crops. But he's not. Um, okay, back into the store. Let's see if we can not save this. Um, okay. Change type here. Okay. Um, and it'll look this way. Kind of what we need. That out. Okay. Okay. We're going to be fine. Everything's going to be just fine. I don't care if it's a gradual hill up to it. Fine. I like the road being at, so we can lower that. A little bit, though. Go so crazy here. That a little. Now we can just smooth this all out. Look at that. Like nothing ever happened. Other than the, the, the pen being here. Can I do anything with this? Oh, I can lower this? No freaking way. Oh my gosh, guys. We're going to flatten that right out. I didn't know you could give me rocks like that. That's awesome. We don't want that thing in there. Alien Jim, you've outdone yourself again. We don't have to get rid of all the rocks. We can still leave them in because we really don't want those rocks there. And then this can be grass over here. That's, uh... Now I'm super excited. That... It all worked out for the good for us, folks. Uh, maybe that size and then uh, change shape. Let's get uh, some form of grass in here. Um, yeah, that's what we want. Right about that. Ooh, maybe not quite up that far to the... Up at the Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah, that doesn't look great, but that's uh, it's uh, bearable. How about that? We'll put it at that. It is bearable. You know what? Let's finish out this guy. While we're in here, we're excited about landscaping, or at least I am. You guys are probably like, well, this is definitely not what I wanted to see on this episode, but uh, oh well. We're committed now. I actually kind of like the look of that, that road right there. Let's do that. Yeah, look at that. Nice. They want to affect our field. I kind of like, I still like having this kind of like back road there, especially since it's like already kind of, it just looks good with the map. Um, we'll run her in here. That's the old, I should just sell that stupid old broken down thing. Take out some of that junk. Maybe this is more than I wanted to do. Okay. Look at that. That's fantastic. He's already done harvest in this field. Everything it's just a great day, guys. I'm very excited. This is why this is my most this is my most enjoyable thing to do on my channel is do my gameplay series. I just have so much fun playing this freaking game. It never gets old. Alright. I think uh yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's buy some well, let's get that guy moved and then we'll talk about some other stuff with pigs. Um Oh no. Sorry, I hope the tabbing is okay with you guys. Um well, actually might as well let's drive over with the tr the other the tractor and the trailer so that way let's get that help menu off we don't need that anymore just clogging up the screen space all right guys well we have that that is fantastic um you probably already knew that was going to happen it's probably it's uh, it, i'm i'm sure it's the thumbnail there's no way it's not the thumbnail that's just groundbreaking that we got that going so uh i'm sure it's the thumbnail and i'm sure you know all about the fact that we're gonna do pigs so uh but yeah that's pretty sweet uh yeah Donnie, that was a great idea. Now we got animals. Well, we don't have animals yet. We have the animal pen. Soon to have animals and soon to have natural fertilizer spreaders. And I don't believe that those guys... I don't think that they have... There's a tank capacity on those guys. I think we might... Now I'm thinking about it, guys. We have to go look real quick. Hold on. Sorry. Well, actually, okay, before we go look, let's get let's get our guy harvested, and then there's one thing I want to check out. I want to see if there's a sell point that we can sell slurry and manure to. 
because um, that way we can just maybe just do slurry on the field or just do manure on the fields. Uh, just pick one instead of having to do both. Probably slurry, just because slurry is a little bit easier to deal with. And then we can get like a belt, load up the uh, manure into a trailer and then sell that. And now we're making a little bit more money to help cover our loan interest. I mean, maybe we do manure and slurry later, but at least maybe to start off, we just do that so we can help kind of cover the uh, the cost a little bit better of our pigs just because we have that loan out. So I think that might be a good option for you or for us or you two. You guys are involved in this. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's what we're going to end up doing. We're going to go ahead and get this guy working on this field and then we'll work our way over there. We'll hit our first original field and then uh, we'll move on and get that guy. Hopefully it's ready to harvest it. So... All right, how are you? Yeah, this episode might be a little long, uh, mostly because I'm really excited. There's lots of cool things, um, but well, I don't know. Maybe I'll cut it off because we're already pretty far into it. I did spend a lot of time talking in the beginning and uh, just talking in general, so hopefully that's been okay. Uh, but yeah, we'll hop out of here and let's go check out what I was talking about in the store. Um, okay, placeable. There we go. I think it's in miscellaneous. Nope. Not in there. Um, the spinnery's in there. The straw barn cell point. Um, yeah, I think it's in maybe... Not in silos, is it? Oh, yeah, here they are. Okay, those hold... So those will store that stuff for us if we want to move it around, um, which is kind of nifty. So no, no. It sells milk and eggs, which I don't know if we can sell it or the root crops. Oh, darn it, there's not one. We might get the, uh, I might get a mod so we can sell the manure because I think that's pretty reasonable to do that. Um, so we might do that. Um, yeah, that might be something we do. Eventually our farm will have these nice nifty large, well, maybe, yeah, yeah probably that guy. Um, all sorts of cool stuff. We're going to get uh, all sorts of cool stuff in our, our farm here. Um, I love this too about this mod. If you haven't seen the map tour either, go watch it. You still should see that. But this is the, the farmhouse that comes out. Then there's the original in-game one. But you can put this around any of the different stuff in here and use that as your, uh, your whatchamacallit, as your house. So it's pretty. I don't think, I don't think these sell points. I think I'm going to open a new No Man's Land map in a different save and then maybe look at what this guy, because I'm sure he'll buy, yeah, I'm sure he'll buy silage, but I don't buy anything anything else so um and i also want to check because you can buy we're probably gonna end up buying pig feed just because it's better for uh efficiency for getting our pigs to reproduce and stuff like that uh but i want to make sure it's not just super cheap and just unre unreasonable or unrealistic um so i'm gonna see because at the sell point if we go um to our store here there's a sell point where you can buy everything um and one of the things you can buy there is pig feed so what i'm going to do maybe in a different save is just load up a trailer with each different item so you can see how much they're all going to cost um getting them from there but let's go look at i think the transport fee for pigs is going to be in or here is a 100 bucks let's move yeah so it's 100 bucks so we're going to save and in addition make that more realistic um if we buy a trailer to move our animals around so let's go to animals i believe it's in here transport stuff for animals in here no maybe not it's going to be animal oh, animal transport obviously um here this guy is the cheaper well this guy can't do pigs right yeah it's just for horses this guy's the cheapest option i think that's that's honestly not that expensive well let's think how many animals do we have to transport for that to be worth it 240 we have to transport for that to be um, worth it so maybe we hold off and we just transport them for now because uh, it's only going to do nine at a time anyways. And we're probably going to want to buy a lot. So our, our pig pen can hold 100. And I think we want to get to like maybe like 80-ish. So that way they're reproducing up that extra 20. We sell down 20 of them. And then they keep reproducing that way. And that way we're getting a lot of stuff out of it. Um, so straw-wise, you can just dump it in there. So I don't have to worry about that. We'll use a trailer to dump it in there. And that's all the things you have to worry about with uh, the pigs. Um, so they're pretty easy to take care of. So a good starting animal. Good job, Thani. That was a good idea to start off with pigs. Um, so yeah, they just need water. So we'll get a water tank, which isn't a big deal. I think it's like eight or 9,000. So definitely not a big deal. You either feed them pig feed or a combination of these guys. Um, so you need like, there's four food categories, I believe, that you have to kind of fill to get it to 100% efficiency with them reproducing and such. Um, so what we'll do, and yeah, there it is. It holds 100. We'll get pig feed, which fills all of those. And then we'll also add straw. Um, so that way they're producing uh, manure and slurry pretty effectively for us. So yeah, let me see. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna go buy a 
it's in animals. Yeah, the Aqua Trans. Okay, 9,500. Not a big deal. We are going to buy that. Yes. Okay, and we should be able to get just water out of our... Actually, we have that uh, water fill point over there, so that's not a big deal. All right. Let's buy... Buy the pigs. They're not going to starve to death or anything. We'll go into here. Not in there. Uh, we need more money to buy more pigs, huh? So, as much as I hate to do this, I think we take out... Oh, and I'll see if I like it. We'll see if uh, we can always sell a bunch of the pigs real quick if we uh, have to. Uh, but uh, I want to see how much that's um, going to cost us there. So let's get let's just get pink pigs. Just your your typical stereotypical. Let's uh, we'll look at there for how many we're going to get. Three, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. 60 and that's going to cost us 96 we're already over what we have so maybe we go back uh move some over here um well, let's go down to let's go down to 45 of them 72,000 let's go we'll just get uh we have 40 of them to start that's a good that's a good start for us confirm boom look at these guys oh my gosh so excited we got pigs all right all right well what what we need to do now, we need to start getting them taken care of. So um, they start producing stuff. If we go into our animal menu here, we got 40 of them. Their productivity is zero, as we know. Um, so, yep, we'll get, uh, and we'll keep an eye on their cleanliness. And actually, I think uh, if we go into the store here, we can buy that uh, miscellaneous, the broom. Yeah, cleaning broom. Broom can be used to clean the map. I don't know how that would work out. But this guy right here, so we'll buy that. 15 bucks, that's... <laughs> It literally is the cost of like a normal broom. I thought it was gonna be like a thousand bucks or something. It seems like a lot of those kind of like uh, little tool mods are like, you know, 500 bucks or a thousand kind of like the chainsaws are. So, uh, but anyhow, um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, we'll leave this tipper over here. So that way if the combine gets full, he can come pick it up. But yeah, I'll go pick up our Aqua Trans and then uh, we will uh, load it up with water and get our pigs going. I really like that path. I like that we did that. It opens the area up. This farm is coming together, guys. I didn't... This, we might be getting to like gameplay episode 1000 before I'm ready to give up this guy. I'm just kidding. That might be a little too much, but uh, there'll be quite a few. I'm, I'm sure there'll be at least probably 50 episodes. Um, you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, but uh, it'll see, it'll go by super fast. I'll be honest with you. It already doesn't feel like it's episode, what are we on six here? I think this is six. Hopefully I'm not wrong, but uh, it doesn't feel like it's been that many episodes. And um, honestly, I'm going to have to wrap this one up soon anyhow, even though we're not even halfway through this day. But yeah, I'll go get the Aqua Trends and I'll start getting our pigs ready to go. All right, guys, so I went to the store and the broom was out. So it's not like the chainsaw or another hand tool or anything like that. Um, it's not that I know of, but it's it's just kind of glitching out. So I'm not um, really sure. I'm not sure if it's going to work for us or not. It's just it's stuck there, so I'm going to have to at least sell this one. So we might end up uh, just, uh, if we go into the store here, we already have all the front loader stuff. So this actually isn't really that big. Oop, I don't want that to... Uh, Front loaders. We already have all the front loader stuff, so we'll probably just buy. We have, uh, you know, there's a big bucket mod that I kind of like, but uh, we'll probably just use the universal bucket. That'll be fine. 940 liters. We'll just clean it up. We'll keep it all set over by there. Um, and that way we don't have to use a belt if we want to, to do the manure. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and buy that for us. Um, the broom's kind of uh, sucking, so we're going to go to the garage here and uh, we'll sell that broom. Open that mod. I that mod looks super cool. I was looking through all the. Oh, and we lost $4 on it. Darn it. Uh, that's okay. I think we will be okay. It's probably not going to drive us to bankruptcy, but uh, I was hoping that was going to be a pretty sweet mod, but I guess not. So, oh, well, I saw it in the store when I was looking for uh, shelters and stuff for us to put in game here. So I might just maybe not recommend using the broom, or maybe I need to read the instructions on how to use it or do some more research. But uh, for now, at least, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. But uh, and there's where you can buy just about anything is that uh, sell point right there, that little... Uh, or hopper so yeah i'm gonna drive this back to the farm and then get it ready to uh put stuff in with the uh the pigs for us and then we'll probably end up wrapping the episode after we get the pigs all taken care of this episode just going a little long oh actually it's it's about where it normally is but uh, i don't i don't want it to go super long so i'll put it that way but uh yeah i'm really excited guys i hope you guys are too our farm's going really well so yeah i'll get this back and then i'll be back with you all right so i'm gonna see if we can fill up here should allow us to fill point water. What? Come on. 
cover in this? Are you kidding me? Let's open the help menu and see if I'm not I'm missing anything. Thought that the, uh thought that that was maybe I'm wrong. Let's go look at it in the store. That'll give us some clarification. Um, um I don't know decoration. May not be a us. Um, where's it at in here? Let's go to the garage. I'll find it. Water station. This water station can supply your water tanks with fresh water. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, something I have to do to turn it on. Oh my gosh, I have to turn it on. You guys seeing this? Oh my gosh. Now I can fill it up. Okay, good, it is free. I was like, it better be free. Look at that water source right there. Oh gosh, that's funny. You have to turn it on. Oh my gosh. Alien Jim, all the details you put in these mods and all these in these maps is just fantastic. I love it. Oh gosh, that's hilarious. Of course, you gotta, you gotta turn it on. I should have known. Well, we'll drive over. We'll put this in with our pigs and then we'll fill them up with straw. And then, uh, well, shoot, they don't have any food. Oof. Oof. I really wanted to get them food set up. Um, that's going to be their food pen there. So, that, yeah, here's their one. Okay. Perfect. I don't know how much water they're going to take uh, for... Uh, they'll probably take most of this trailer. I mean, I guess it's all free, so it really, really doesn't matter. But, uh... Let's see. Probably take most of it here. That took all of it. Perfect. Oh, they're pretty close there. So I'm just going to actually just park this guy here. Uh, excited. I love that. Even just the, the, the in-game pen for pigs. The pig pen here. Look at this. They got a thing they can hop up on. The area there. Go in here? No, you can't go in there. This is great. This is great. Down in here. I wish you could go in here. It'd be kind of nifty if you could... Uh, like store stuff in there or something like that like made it into like a bale shed or something you could open from the back it isn't that is it okay no say so if i find garage doors back here and i'm just that dumb then it is what it is but that would be nifty if you could do that i think they should put that in there um but okay so uh, washi oh you're doing great you're gonna get all that in the, in the combine there so let's get over to you yes you you're gonna might as well finish loading you up the rest of the way so that's uh Gosh, I hate that. You gotta ease into it. Ease into it. Well, maybe not even working for me the way I want it. Maybe it's just overloaded. No, I don't think that's it. Cooks along pretty good once. Well, we're full. Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, and also too, I uh, I adjusted some things with the audio on my mic, so because sometimes when I would talk quiet, because I get really focused on whatever it was I was doing, um, it wouldn't, I didn't seem like it was coming through what I was trying to do. Um, but uh, so hopefully, I adjust the audio is going to be better, but it could just sound terrible, and I hope that's not it, because I obviously am recording all this without knowing. So um, we should be able to. Here we go. Maybe yeah, just back up there and uh, hit. I oh look, it's shooting more straw in that. Uh, it had it in there still. Look at that. The pen's filling up. Oh, looks nice. How much straw did it take? 12,000 liters. Perfect. And it should, it'll start producing uh, slurry immediately. It won't produce the manure until you feed them. Um, and again, here's your, your categories here. So it shows you that corn is going to give you 50% effectiveness. So corn's pretty effective at feeding them. Uh, wheat and barley's in our 25. Then these guys here are going to be 20. And then five down here. And sometimes it's, uh, I wish that the, if the potatoes are sugar beet, or even if this thing take, took sugar cane, if you could feed that to them, it would be a lot more effective for you cost-wise. But 
All right, guys, this uh, episode is uh, starting to get a little long. We're going to continue with harvesting and doing everything else. So, again, this has been Farmer Cup. Again, just like I mentioned in the beginning, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment if there's anything you want. And, again, let me know, too, about if you guys think we should make a little town in here or not. Um, if no one says anything, I'll probably end up doing it. Um, but I want to know your opinion or what you guys want in the town. If there's something you guys want in there, let me know. I'll go ahead and put it in there for you. So, again, uh, this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and have a good rest of your day.